I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Simulacra. You guys enjoyed the first episode so much, you showed a tremendous amount of support. I'm happy to bring you guys more, so no more talking. I'm just going to jump right into it. If you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody sit down, buckle the fuck up, because here we go. So when we last left off, Greg said, don't make me wait, because he wants me to try to get like an access code so he can make his way up to Anna's place to make sure that she's there and that she's okay. He wants me to try to get this code from Tech Titan's contact. So we need to say, hello? Titan Tech Remote Access Services. Hello, Anna. How can we help? Text invite guest or unblock. Invite guest. I can't believe I got to type all this shit out. There you go. Please text the full name of your guest. I don't know his full name. I like how you can't just ask him what his full name is. You got to actually research it. Son of a bitch tit. Greg Summers. There you go. I made that way too complicated. That was super simple. Okay. Greg... Summers. And boom. There you go. Oh, there it is. Chat images. Sent. Let's go, baby. I'm ready for a jump scare, too. Because this game is crazy with the jump scares. They catch you so off guard. It works. In the lift now. Can't believe my card won't work anymore. She gave this to me on our first anniversary. Said I earned a frequent flyer card. God, I hope she's home. Do we just wait for him? No, he's still online. So I think we just sit here. Yep. Okay, I'm at her doorstep now, but something's wrong. What? What's wrong? I can hear someone inside. Doesn't sound like her. I'm going in. He texts way too fast for this shit. Be careful. I think. Something's wrong. There was this voice. Or a sound. Fuck, I am recording this. Is it the TV? Did she leave the water running? Must be Toby. Is it the TV? Nope, it switched off. Her cat is gone too. I don't see Toby anywhere. What did you hear? It better not be moans. I have no idea what I just heard. Listen for yourself. Ah, oh, fuck. How the fuck did you get that crystal clear audio, Greg? Anything that stands out? Her place is a mess. There are stuff all over the floor. She is really fussy about keeping things organized. A robbery? Her laptop is still here. Nothing else is missing. Find the source of the jabber post. Yeah, how did she post that jabber post? Her laptop is still warm. It's jabber. She definitely posted something from here. Then where the hell is she? Her notebook is here too. I'm gonna take a look. All of this just doesn't feel right. Something weird is going on. Damn it! This guy sure does love to text. There's a reasonable explanation for this. Maybe she went for a trip. Really? It's ghost. <laughs> Definitely ghost. I'm gonna go with the first one. Even though I don't know anything that could be reasonable about all this. Yeah? Well, tough luck. Nothing is reasonable so far. Wait! Oh, God! Oh! Oh, that made the nipples hard. Oh, that jump scared me so hard. Remote wipe. A request has been made from Anna Home PC to permanently delete all data in this device. You have 107 seconds. Oh, shit. What did you do? What the hell is going on? Dude, what did I do? Are you trying to delete Anna's phone? Me delete what? I'm not doing anything. Did you do something? I didn't do jack shit. I'm just standing here getting jump scared. Don't you dare delete anything. We need as much info to find Anna. Stop pretending. Yeah, I'm on to you, Greg. I'm rubbing the chin pubes. I know it's you. Pretend what? We don't have much time, dude. We got like a minute left. Calm the fuck down. Tell me what is happening. You said data is reset or something? How did it happen? You activated it. Somebody did. What's the matter with you? I didn't touch anything on her laptop. Shit! I see it too! Remotely delete all data? How the fuck did that happen? I didn't touch anything. Stop talking and start helping. We only have 30 seconds! Please! Okay, okay. Fuck, I can't remember how to work this. It's the same software she got for me. Tell me what you see. Please hurry, we don't have much time. Hang on. I see it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, fuck me. No, nobody wants to fuck you, Greg. To turn it off, I need to answer some security questions. There are three. Are you serious right now? 
her cat's name, her company's name, her Iris OS version's name. You can put it in any order, but we only got three strikes. Oh shit, what happened? No. How was I supposed to not have that happen? Iris OS. Okay, we have to figure out what software it is. Welcome, this phone belongs to... Anna. I asked for your name. Okay. Let's go with J. Full name, please. J. Cubs. That's my full name, bitch! Hello, J. Cub Scouts. For a more personalized user experience, please answer the following questions to help us better serve your needs. Don't worry, it will only take a moment. Are you a new user or an experienced user? Experienced all day, baby. If needed, would you like to manually configure new settings or allow the phone to do it for you automatically? Automatically. Do you like to back up your phone often or occasionally? Occasionally. Do you like to sleep late or sleep early? Why does this even matter? Late, I guess? What is your favorite kind of smell? Fuck it. Which part of an animal do you prefer to eat? Thigh or ribs? Let's go with ribs. Are you paranoid that your phone or laptop camera might be recording your every move? Uh, yeah? If everyone can only tell the truth all the time, do you think this will make the world a better or worse place? Worse. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? The fuck is this? I'm not talking to anybody without a lawyer. Would you rather know the date of your death or the cause of your death? Oh, what? I guess the cause? Oh, I don't even want to answer this. Would you rather lose your mind or all your limbs? I feel like you never want to lose your mind, so I'd say limbs. If you look behind you right now, would you rather see a floating disembodied head or a headless body? Uh, <laughs> I got the heebie-jeebies. Headless body? Can I touch your hair? <laughs> no, no, fuck you. You agree to surrender all of your personal data to Iris OS for the further improvements of your experience and other services at our discretion. Agree. We value your privacy and will not use log data for any other purpose. Better not. Thank you! Your phone is now ready to be used. Enjoy! And they even got the Looney Tunes thing. The... What the fuck? So this is my phone now? Sorry, Anna. I guess you got your phone jacked. Oh! Open? Who's that? Who's Ulner? You! Are you safe? No, not really. Who is in danger? Who is this? Don't you recognize me? It's voice! Do not! You need to tune it out. Whose voice? The one. The many. It's voice. It's voice! Do not believe it! You must resist its words. This game is crazy. It makes me feel really weird too. You are not making any sense. Nobody else is talking here. Resist what? Its image. It's a lie. You must have seen it. You are not Anna. Hell no, I'm not. This is not Anna. No, no, no! Anna! Soon, she will be gone. Right? She will be gone soon. How do I find her? Yes, please. Tell me the ways, Alner. It depends on it. You will find her and find me? Find me and you will find her. Yes. If not. What is this? Okay, uh... Oh my goodness. How did I get that in one try? That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, what is that? I don't want that to happen. Oh. oh! Holy crap. Hello? 
Fuck. Please tell me it works. If the data is gone, I am going to fucking kill you. Well, it's not even my fault, Greg, so fuck off. Everything is fine now. That was so weird. Thank God. Oh, God. You fucking scared me. I thought we were going to lose our progress. It restored itself automatically. Yeah, and some creepy shit happened along the way. If it works, it works. I am not going to question it. This is too much weirdness for one day. Okay, here it is. I found something on her laptop. Porn stash? Hey. I mean, this is not the time to joke around, but hey. There is a time and place for everything. This is not it. Unlike you, I actually found something useful. Here are some phone data backed up. One here. Another one at her workstation. That means there might be more stuff on the phone than what you see now. We work with what we have. I'm restoring from her laptop first. Great! Let's get started. Okay. Let's starting. Everything is freaking me out. System restore. Okay, everything's restoring right now. Thank you, Greg. You're awesome for that. It should be done now. Did you get it? Great. More of Anna to see. Hey. Tone down the creep factor. That was kind of creepy. There is something else. I was looking through her notebook. Dot, dot, dot. Is there something you are not telling me? I'm not hiding anything. I've been helpful so far. What are you implying? Yeah. What are you trying to say, Greg? Huh? It says in her notebook that she met someone on Spark. Didn't you mention that she matched up with some people on Spark? Did I? Yeah, it's Taylor. I think that was his name. So you've been talking to this guy all this time? How much have you told him? Nothing much. I was very selective. I told him everything. I think I was pretty selective. I haven't talked to him since he told me to access her jabber, I think. I think he was the one to tell me to access her jabber, right? Was it him or Greg? You better not be lying. Did anyone ever taught you not to trust everything people say? Especially if it's from online? Fucking basic common sense shit. You are a stranger too. Yeah, I don't even know you. For all I know, you're not even Greg. I am her fucking boyfriend, so you better stop listening to his crap and do as I say. Stay on the line. I am going to make some calls. Get to the bottom of this spark thing. Right now? Anna. What? She said something again. Today is going to be an interesting day. I can feel it. Anna. Okay, Anna. I see you, girl. Spark. Taylor. Um, he keeps asking a lot of stuff about Anna. He said, found anything interesting yet? Anything that tells more about Anna? Us. Tell us. It's wrong to share personal info. Yeah, Taylor. So why don't you back up? You're no fun, sad face. Hey, stranger. Anything? Anna posted something on Jabber. Looks like she is chilling at home. I guess she is alright? Far from it, something is off. I wish that was true. Should I keep talking to this guy? I don't know. Wait. Recovered? Wait, this is stuff that was like from a long time ago. So let me read this. This is like messages from him and Anna. He said Titanic. She said what? And he said it's my icebreaker. She said haha that's cute. People died though. He said, yeah, I need to work on that. So, animal person, eh? Dog? She said, cat. Only one, I hope. One is a handful already. I'm not the crazy cat lady age yet. So, your profile says you serenade upon request. Yup. You sing? Occasionally. Prove it. And there's a video of him. I got my eyes on you. You're everything that I see. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, I can't get over you. You left your mark on me. I want your heart, love, and emotion. Endlessly, oh. What? Okay. Let's never listen to that again. She said, oh, wow. That's not bad. So is it true that the shower gives better acoustics? Yeah, but I have to store the soaps and shampoos if I sing there. Interesting, why is that? Otherwise, it will be a soap opera. Oh, this guy. This guy should work at a dairy farm because he's so freaking cheesy. Ha 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 Okay, you got me on that one. Do I get something in return? Your number, maybe? I'll think about it. Ooh. Not quite out of the friend zone yet, Taylor. Taylor is the main guy we need to focus on right now. So let's say something is off. I don't want to get too specific with this guy because I don't know if I trust him yet. You know... Maybe you're overthinking it. Maybe she just want to be left alone. Wow, no wonder you're single. Let's get practical, Taylor. You shouldn't make jokes right now. Yeah, 
Especially when they're not funny. Sorry! I'm all ears. What's up? So what happened exactly? Did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He did, but no sign of her. He heard a strange noise, but no Anna. I don't feel like telling him this yet. How does he even know that? How did he know that Greg went over to her place? Okay, let's check Jabber. There's three comments. Jackie said, haven't seen you for a while. Where you been? Ronnie said, yeah, where you been? It's not like you to miss Jim. Anna said, I am fine. She didn't even say fine. She said fine. Just got caught up with work. That's all. Gonna take a short break. Don't worry about me. Everybody's worried about you. Where the fuck is you? Bam. Where the fuck is you? Oh, I can post as Anna. <laughs> this guy named Merv said, hey, Anna. Looks like you're my receiver for the next week's company gift swap. I know the gifts are meant to be a secret, but I don't like giving gifts that you ultimately don't want. So I'm breaking tradition and will get you something that you truly deserve. Tell me your body size and I will pick the perfect dress for you. Woo! So he said, you somehow managed to look so hot in office wear, so why not I get you a smashing office dress? Tell me your body size and I will pick the perfect dress for you. Make sure to give your bust, waist, and hip measurements. I want to get it right the first time. A sheath dress would be perfect. With a tighter and firmer bust to pair with those long legs, you would look fabulous. Some might say it's distracting, but if you have assets, you have to show it. Love, Merv. Merv from Faraday Safety. That's a pretty creepy message to send your coworker. She also has a new vlog. From the Office of Admissions, the University of Cunningham, we have received your application to the School of Veterinary Science. We regret to inform you that you have not been shortlisted. Blah, blah, blah. We thank you, blah, blah, blah. They didn't even say why. And they have to take three months for this? <laughs> Ugh, this is not helping. I'm sorry. Who are we going to talk to? Holy shit, 99 text messages? There's no way I can read all these. Okay guys, so I'm reading through the recovered text with Greg. So apparently he works at a job where he has clients and he started doing stuff with one of his clients named Yolanda and she found out because she looked through his phone and she's mad about that. And that's why there's like this whole tension between Greg and Anna. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's way too long, but let me read through the Ashley one and then I'll give you guys another summary about what they're talking about here. Hey, um. God, I just read my text. I am so, so sorry. Can you do me a favor and just ignore all of it? <laughs> I had a wee bit too much to drink last night and I have no idea what I was saying. I'll make it up to you, okay? I'll okay guys, so sleep, you guys so. can hear what Ashley's saying in the say audio me, recording right, right now. I guess she was like hitting on Anna and it made Anna feel kind of uncomfortable. And then Ashley apologized through this audio recording and blamed it on being drunk, I guess. So that's basically it for the recovered text. So Taylor said, did Greg check her house or something? What about the post? He did, but no sign of her. I guess we do have to talk to Taylor because that is our mission. Anna would have called her phone by now if she is okay. And somehow she makes a post exactly the same time as when Greg is checking in on her. Doesn't it sound a bit strange to you? Occam's razor. So let's say, hypothetically, there is a possibility that Greg somehow did something bad to Anna. And he is hiding it from you. Just a random thought. What if Anna is deliberately trying to get away from Greg? Maybe he bombarded her with calls and messages to the point where she just went screw it and chucked the phone away that is true too because he was calling her and texting her up the yin yang go on taylor's making a good point think about it what kind of person greg is he is kind of a dick the phone's data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop he mentioned that he got blocked from her apartment yeah kind of like a restraining order Aha! If they are indeed lovebirds, at most he won't have the keys. But getting blocked is a strong word. Maybe she is keeping him away. Yeah, that is true. Taylor! He's dropping fact bombs on me! Anna is a pretty sweet gal. Why would she date someone like him? Being verbally abusive is not far from being physical. The phone's data was almost deleted when he checked her laptop. 
This is troubling. Is trying to obstruct justice? I think he is hiding something big in the phone. Otherwise, why would he want to delete the phone's data? That is actually true. The moment he went inside of her apartment, that's when, like, the whole system rebooting thing was taking effect. I don't know. Uh, I'm just gonna say I think he did it, but I don't want to say that it's, like, 100% fact. What else is he capable of? All I'm saying is that I think there is more to Greg than he is leading on. Again, hypothetical. What else has he told you? And I met someone on Spark. Yeah, he knows that you're in the picture, Taylor! There is a possibility that a hot girl like Anna will get matched more than once. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I would never hide anything from you. You can trust me. Scout's honor. Cub Scout's honor? I think before we move on, you need to confront him. Call him out. Some new data just got restored. Like a backup? Great. He's hiding something. I can feel it. If he did something to Anna, we need to know what it is. Remember to get your facts straight and ask him about his actions and behavior. Maybe he will slip up and tell you something we don't know. Greg, I need to ask you something. We gotta talk, Greg. Mano y mano. What? Let's talk about Anna's place. Let's talk about your relationship with Anna. Let's talk about your attitude. And I can't even see the one at the bottom. What the fuck is that? Let's talk about your relationship with Anna because it's a little bit rocky. It's pretty rocky road right now. So you're a shrink now? What is there to talk about us? Are you both still together? We had a small argument, but I am still her boyfriend. Couples fight all the time. Nothing a good talk can't solve. Something still doesn't add up. Taylor sent you an audio recording. Not now, Taylor. We are dating. Why are you bringing this up? I think she broke up with you. Yeah. It's complicated, okay? If she wants to see someone else, she should tell me. Face to face. Let's talk about Anna's place. What about Anna's place? Did you activate the phone reset? I told you I didn't do anything. Are you calling me a liar? Well, I ain't calling you a truther! If I wanted the phone erased, why the hell do I back up the phone for you? To gain my trust? Ah! <laughs> Greg! <laughs> Boom! The only reason I am trusting you is because you are holding the phone. I have no other choice. You are still useful to me. So, this is not the time to be pointing fingers. I'm pointing one right now, Greg. What are you going to do about it? Here I am busting my balls to find her, and you are accusing me? What are you hiding? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can't accuse him because we don't know for sure. I hope you're done wasting my time. Let's talk about your attitude. Yeah, you need to stop being a dick, Greg. What about my attitude? I have no time to deal with your feelings right now. You are verbally abusive. Sometimes you come off as rude. Yeah, and it hurts my feelings, Greg. I am really stressed out over here, okay? I'm not sugarcoating anything for you. Just deal with it. You didn't hit her, did you? Maybe she is running from an abuser. Okay, chill. I'll deal with it. You know what? We're going with this one. You never know. The fuck? Are you implying that I am abusing her? Jesus. I would never physically harm Anna. Ever. End of discussion. Maybe she is running from you. Look. Oh, God. Incoming call from Detective Rilo. Hello, I'm looking for Anna. I believe this is her number. Hello? I think this is the answering machine. I'll just leave a message first. This is Detective Marillo from the police department. We received a report from one of your neighbors. She mentioned that there was a suspicious-looking guy entering and exiting your residence. Greg. Can you confirm if this is true? Call us if you wish to report a burglary. Thank you and good day. They're talking about Greg. So Greg said, she is missing, not running. What's with all these accusations? Make your point. Maybe you are somehow involved. You're not completely honest with me. Nothing, just asking. I don't think he's honest with me. And I need him to be 100% crystal clear. You are a random person who somehow got Anna's phone. I'm not telling you any more shit. You have nothing on me. So if you want to start pointing fingers, make sure you have proof. Why are you so defensive? Yeah, it's making me even more suspicious, Greg. Why are you so intrusive? I don't have time for this. I am not going to entertain any more questions about my life. You have nothing on me. Okay, there's a new vlog thing. New vlog right here. Oh my god. What if I didn't? What if I just went on? The title says, I looked through his phone. Die. What if I didn't? 
And he can do it looking me dead in the eyes. God, and he hasn't stopped texting me since. What, what does that mean? I don't know. Does he still love me? Then why would he... You know what? I hope it's positive. I hope she's pregnant. What the fuck? Yeah, he always wanted a family. Now everyone's happy. I'm not happy. I don't even know what's going on. Everyone's happy. Why would you vlog this? That's not therapeutic. Don't do that. Don't be doing that. Uh, Taylor sent me an audio recording. Another random thought. What if Greg killed Anna? No. Well, maybe kill is a strong word. But what if he hurt her or something and tried to cover it up? And all you hear from him is a lie. Okay. Huh. This guy watches way too many conspiracy theory videos on YouTube or something. He is way too cray cray right now. Greg is very defensive. Right? I never met the guy, but I hate his guts already. So where are we at exposing his lies? I don't know if he's actually lying though. Taylor could be trying to get me on his side so he can make it seem like he's not the bad guy, but Taylor could be the bad guy all along. But then there also is Greg, so we need to get the facts. I'm not gonna confirm anything until I got the facts. So let me check my objectives one more time. Make sure that Ashley never finds out about Anna's disappearance. Okay, we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. Let me check Jabber. Uh, Anna didn't really post anything else. And then this is a pregnancy test. But I gotta figure this one out. Oh, it worked. Nice! Clicking random shit always works. And then I restored everything else, right? Yep. Okay. So we restored everything else. He says I have nothing on him. But then let me talk to Taylor. Greg almost got someone pregnant! I feel like I'm just like a little gossiping person right now. Holy hell, that cheating son of a gun. This is better than I thought. Worse. I mean, it sounds really bad. Who is the unlucky girl? Yolanda! Exotic name. You know that sounds like motive to me. Messy breakup, fight, things got a little violent, who knows. I think you should call her and ask if she knows anything about Greg. Like a second opinion. Get it straight from the source. Great idea. So we're gonna call the girl that he was cheating on Anna with? Okay, I can get on board with that. That's the spirit. Now go get her, Tiger. Remember, we are here for Anna. This is necessary. Find Yolanda, find the truth. How am I gonna find Yolanda? Do I have her contact? Maybe I do. No, only Ashley. Wait, I know who knows. Ashley might know. Can we call her? Come on, pick up Ashley. Do it for me. Come on, connect. Don't give me that look, Ashley. Nope, signal error. Okay. Yolanda, Yolanda, please have Yolanda in the contacts. Nope, only person I have as a Y is Yusuf Kit. Okay, I think I know what to do, guys. So, when I looked through the recovered text, there was something right here. She works at a thing called Paris and Kane, or Ferris and Kane. And then, when I looked at Surfer, there's a Ferris and Kane right here. Call now, and I think Yolanda works there. Welcome so I think that's how Ferris I can get a hold of her. Kane. Your personal shopper directory. Okay. Press 1 to request for a shopper. 1. Thank you. To help us select a personal shopper for you, please indicate what you would like to purchase. Press 1 for robes and cloaks. Press 2 for dresses. Press 3 for innerwear. Press 4. 2. If you know the extension number of your favorite shopper, Please press the four-digit extension Shit. number. No. Okay. I have to write this down. I got to look at it again, and I got to write it down. Fuck me, silly. 0405. All right, let's get it. If you know the extension number... 0405. Thank you. Your personal shopper assigned to you is... Yolanda. Yes, Yolanda! Due to our increasing demand, we can only take a limited amount of clients at a time. Well, take After me. This call, take please me. Please wait for us to talk I volunteer to you as at tribute. Any convenience. Thank you for picking Ferris and Kane. Have a nice day. Yolanda, 
There you are. Okay, Yolanda said, thanks for using Ferris and Kane. My name is Yolanda, and I will be your shopper today. How may I assist you? Okay, guys, so we got a hold of Yolanda, the girl that Greg cheated with and almost got her pregnant. I think she might be the big reason why Anna is actually missing. But we are going to continue that in the next episode. If you want to see it as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!